somewhere, hidden amongst thorny brambles, is a little kingdom of elves and fairies. Everyone who lives here is very, very small. I'm Ben Elf. <coughs> and I'm Princess Holly. <laughs> Come on, let's play. Wait for us. <laughs> Ben and Holly's Little Kingdom. Today's adventure starts at the Little Castle. The party! Come on, everyone. We've got to get ready for the party. Party? Daisy and Poppy's birthday party. <gasps> oh, no! Party! Party! Two magical toddlers are bad enough. But when all their little friends turn up, it's terrible. <laughs> <laughs> I've got it. We'll have the party, but we won't invite any guests. Da, 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 da. I've sent out all the party invites and everybody's coming. Oh, who's coming? There's little Tarquin. Tarquin like party. Oh, no. Tarquin is a monster. And there's Raspberry. Not my little sister. Even her wand is rude. <laughs> and Nettle Elf. <gasps> my little sister. She's got a stinging nettle in her hat. And it stings when you touch it. Nettle Elf is the naughtiest of the lot. What do you expect? She's got a pirate for an uncle. Yes. Redbeard the Elf Pirate. <sighs> this party is going to be a disaster. Don't worry. I've got it all planned. We'll have magic games, followed by my magic show, and ending with magic jelly. Magicy, magicy. <laughs> I was wrong. The party's not going to be a disaster. It's going to be a catastrophe. Thank you, Your Majesty. I know, King Thistle. You could have an elf party. A what? An elf party has no magic at all. But what about my magic show? The toddlers love a magic show. We have the great wizardo, an elf conjurer. He doesn't do real magic. It's just tricks. I like it, Ben. It sounds very safe. Yeah, and boring. Exactly. Nanny Plum, call this great wizardo and tell him we've got children we want to bore. I mean, entertain. Ugh. Very well, Your Majesty. <laughs> Welcome to the party. Tarquin like party. Bye-bye, Tarquin. Be good. Yes, Mama. <laughs> oh. Hello, Nettle. Ow! That stings. Nanny Plum! Me fruity pancake. Ugh. Enjoy the party, Nettle. I'll be back to pick you up later. <laughs> oh, settle down, children, please. <laughs> the great Wizardo. That's just the wise old elf. I'm not just the wise old elf. I'm also a children's entertainer. Oh, carry on then. These children are a bit of a handful, especially when they do magic. There won't be any magic at this party. I'll put the toddler's wands into the library, where they can't cause any trouble. Very clever. Let's get this party started. Hooray! Musical statues. When the music stops, you have to stand as still as a statue. Aha! Raspberry, I saw you move. And you, Nettle. That's because they haven't been turned to stone yet. Ah! Strawberry, you've magic them into real statues. Of course. That's how we fairies play musical statues. This is not a fairy party. Turn them back to normal. OK. The big children's ones are going into the library with the others. Now it's time to play Stick the Tail on the Donkey. Here's the donkey. Looks like a cabbage. Or a duck. It's a donkey. Now, 
I will blindfold Nettle Elf and she'll try to stick this tail on the donkey. <laughs> Ow! She stung me again! It's a stupid game anyway. You need a big dragon to stick the tail on. Ah! Oh, looks like the twins' party has started. Get rid of the dragon! All right. Just trying to liven the party up a bit. I'm putting the grown-ups ones in the library too. Now for my conjuring show. Hooray! Queen Sissel, please take a card. <laughs> Don't show me. What is your card? Um, the two of hearts. Your card is the two of hearts. That's the worst trick I've ever seen. I thought it was rather good. How's it done? For my next trick, I will turn myself into a mouse. Ooh. You little ones need to wait behind this door for a moment. How do you change yourself into a mouse? I put these ears on and this nose, then I... Um was it a good idea putting the toddlers in the library? What? It's the same room you put all the wands in. Ah. <laughs> Don't worry, the great wizardo will sort this out. I'll show them my mouse trick. That will surprise them. They'll be surprised how bad it is. So it might work. Look, children, I've turned myself into a... Mousey, mousey! Squeak! Wow, that's not a bad costume. Uh, the toddlers have magic the wise old elf into a real mouse. Squeak! Can someone please magic me back into an elf? No, we can't do any magic because somebody put all the wands in the library. Ah, uh, yes. Squeak! Ahoy, me hearties! I'm here to pick up my niece, Meryl. Oh, <laughs> Actually, the party's not quite over yet. <laughs> no? The toddlers are in the library with the dangerous spell books. They've got all the magic wands. And they've magic the wise old elf into a mouse. Squeak! Sounds like a fun party. Oh, no. It's gone quiet. They're up to something. Let's take a look. Hello? Hello? There's no one here. Just our wands. Oh, it's good to have you back again. Uh, Nanny, now you have your wand again, would you mind, um... Of course, oh great wizardo. Silly old elf, back to yourself. Oh, so where be the poor little toddlers? I was afraid of this. Daisy and Poppy have found the secret passageway. Ooh. Where does the secret passageway go? To the secret room. Oh. I never knew we had a secret room. That's because it's secret. The room contains a magical force that must never be let out. So, not a good room for toddlers to be in, then. <laughs> I hear the sound of excited little ones and something else. We must not enter. Honestly, what a lot of fuss about a terrible magical force of unimaginable power. I'll handle this. Good luck, me brave little pumpkin. Go off! <laughs> what can you see? Terrible things! Redbeard to the rescue! <laughs> Here be the toddlers. <laughs> Plum! Here she be! You're safe now, my plum pudding. I've seen many a terrible thing at sea, but nothing, nothing as bad as what I saw in that room. That's why we tend to keep the door locked. <laughs> Good. The party's over. It all went rather well, I thought. But what about the jelly? We haven't had magic jelly yet. Magic jelly! Magic jelly! All right, Nanny, but please don't make too much this time. <laughs> Look, magic jelly! That's 
Good. The party must be almost over. Ah, <laughs> oh, Raspberry. Have you had a nice time? Yes, Mummy. Tarquin, say thank you for having me. Thank you for having me. It was a pleasure. Goodbye, Nettle. Ow! She stung me again. It's Raspberry's birthday next. We hear you've got a children's entertainer who's good with toddlers. Yes. Here he is. The great Wizardo. Um, I... Wonderful. See you all at Raspberry's party, then. <laughs> party, party! <laughs>